If you're one of the three and a half million student loan borrowers with one specific type of loan, you've got till the end of June to consolidate if you want a shot at this one time only debt relief initiative. Now, it's going to get a little complicated here, but just stick with me. I'm going to explain it. There are three main things you have to know. First, who qualifies? This is a very specific group. Those who have a non-federally held or privately held student loan that originated through the Federal Family Education Loan Program, or FFEL. That program closed down in 2010. Second, what is this one-time only debt relief initiative? Well, usually borrowers who have privately held student loans not controlled by the federal government, like some FFEL loans, do not qualify for federal student loan forgiveness. And if you consolidate those loans, usually the payments you've already made do not count towards any kind of forgiveness. But in 2022, the Education Department announced this initiative for privately held FFEL loans. The Education Department said if you consolidate those old privately held FFEL loans into a direct loan program that is directly held by the federal government, you can have those old payments you already made count towards the forgiveness options of the new program you consolidate into. And that will include any months you spent in repayment, no matter your loan type or repayment plan, it will also allow you to count certain months spent in forbearance or deferment. That means, for example, if you've been paying for like 20 years on a loan that originated in the FFEL program, and then you consolidate, the education department will count all of those payments that you've made towards the forgiveness you're legally entitled to after 20 or 25 years. You can even consolidate your old FFEL loan into a direct loan, and if you qualify for that public service loan forgiveness program, you can have all those old payments you already made count towards the forgiveness under that program, which means your loans get forgiven in just 10 years. And third, if you want to do this, you need to hurry because there is a deadline in just a few weeks. You only have until June 30th to consolidate if you want to take advantage of this one-time offer of counting your old FFEL payments towards new forgiveness. After that, you're out of luck. Lastly, why is this happening? Well, back in 2022, the Education Department said this was necessary to fix the years of mismanagement by plans like FFEL, which had horrible record keeping, misleading information, and miscommunication between the Education Department and its loan servicers. That left millions of student loan borrowers paying on their loans for much longer than they were required to. So if you want to know how to check if your loan is a privately held FFEL loan, not controlled by the federal government, or if you should consolidate, I'm going to send you out the document from the Department of Education tonight in my News Girl News Roundup email. So make sure you sign yourself up. Sign yourself up.